What's up, kings and queens? I got another Soul Calibur 4 gameplay. I said I was going to do one with Tira because that's my bitch. Tira is my girl. And I'm going to show you um this part, of the, this part of the match because this was some bullshit. I was whooping this dude's ass and he backed out in the middle of the game. So I'm going to show you this one and then the next one is going to be a serious game while I was playing with Tara. But like I said, Tara is bad ass. I'm a beast with her in Soul Calibur 4. And if I could find my Soul Calibur 5, I'll train with Tara and learn her new style. Because I know they changed up the gameplay. Like the controller setup or the, not even the controller setup, but just their whole play style a little bit they usually do that um because in soul Calibur 2 i was a beast with talum ivy and link because i played on gamecube i'm telling you i used to go perfect every time with them then um soul Calibur 3 came out they did a little bit of changing and that's when they introduced tira to the scene i played with her i thought she was pretty good like i liked her personality and her bio so I just used her. She, you know, bipolar. Like she has a bipolar disorder, so she switches between happy and mad instantly or whatever. And in Soul Calibur Four, which is this one, I really love the way they set her up. But I can't play with Talum and Ivy no more. I still need to practice with them because their play style is not the same anymore. So it's kind of different. But um. Pretty much, um, I play with Taki and um, Tara and um, there we go. See, he left the game. <laughs> I was like, what a pussy. But anyways, I ended up playing with the next guy in the lobby and I picked Tara again because I want a good gameplay with her. It wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to do her counters where she hop on top of you and just slice your neck up with her hula hoop sword. But whatever that didn't happen because it's got to be perfect timing like the person has to hit you while you're doing it in order for it to work so when she's um in her gloomy state or her evil mad state you have to um that person has to hit you twice while you're in the middle of doing the taunt or whatever for it to work and when she's in her happy stage all you have to do is hit them once all they have to do is hit you once while she's doing it and then that'll work so um, she's pretty hard to learn a lot of people didn't know Tara could do certain things that she can do because they didn't take the time out to learn her play style and stuff right here I'm getting tapped a little bit they got me in a corner but I'm gonna redeem myself but um but the thing with Tara is that her whole button layout, her whole play style changes whenever she, when her mood changes. And you have to be able to know when to detect when her mood changes because her buttons change, everything changes. So the combos that you used when she was happy won't be the same when she's mad or whatever. So that's why a lot of people don't play with her because she's difficult to figure out. But um, she got me that time, but whatever, because <laughs> he was spamming that kick button, so that don't count. <laughs> but right here, you can tell she's gloomy by how she holds the hula hoop. If she's crouched over and she's holding it on her shoulder, that means she's gloomy and she's mad and she's pissed. She's in her piss state. And when she's holding the hula hoop in her hand and dancing with it, that's how you can tell she's in her happy state. But yeah. That pretty much ends that. I destroyed him. I wish I could have showed y'all the counters though, but oh well. Still put in work.